10th weekers how is everybody doing it's so good to see you guys thank you so much for being here for this twitch and tweak hello everybody oh you got the notification at 11 11 oh well if that's not a sign i don't know what is everybody i'm so sorry i was 10 minutes late i'm never 10 minutes late if i'm 10 minutes late you know there's a reason so if you weren't in our little pre-chat and you didn't hear i was trying to upload a freaking video and you're held hostage by the computer when you're uploading something so i couldn't click go live while the thing was uploading and it was so freaking slow anyway <sighs> That is why I'm late. I'm so sorry. It'll be worth the wait. Well, yeah, because there won't be stupid ads on Chantal's freaking video. I can't stand the ads, the YouTube ads. It's bad enough we have these ads on the Twitch, but there's, there's nothing I can do. So no fries left behind. But beyond these ones, I don't want ads on her freaking video either. So I had, uh, you know, put it on my editor, popped a chat on the side. And so, anyway, long story short, it made me 10 minutes late. So I'm so sorry. But marhaba, uh, you know what we're doing today. You know what we're getting into today. Something was promised and I'm a man of my word, big, big man. Today, we are going to be watching, in my opinion, one of the greatest moments from the Crackhead Olympics. We are going to be watching the CPAP rescue where the cops showed up to the trap house. Koki thought he had put us on mute. He did not put us on mute and we could hear everything. Ah, it was glorious. It was beautiful. We happened to be live and we were sniping Koki. That pretty much never happens. So the fact that we happened to catch this live on our channel was just delicious. Yes, that's right. The cops with the breathing machine. They were calling it the breathing machine. Ah, it was so great. What a moment. What a moron. Uh, uh, he's just. Mwah. Mwah. I'm so happy we have this video to watch. <laughs> okay, so that's the plan for today. We're watching our classic, classic CPAP rescue with cops. And then, because our girl was live for a very, very brief live stream earlier today, uh, we're going to watch that live stream together. And then we'll be all nicely caught up in Shuntopolis, all right? Without further ado, the CPAP rescue. Guys, there is me one minute. So I'll put you out of camera. Fucking cops! Thank you. I'm here to you guys. So you still on YouTube? You are on YouTube, on Facebook, on something? Sorry? You are on Facebook, right? I was on YouTube. I was on video. Okay, what are you cooking? Beef and fish fry. He doesn't know he's still alive mm. and that we can hear it. Uh, we are here because. I hear we have an argument with your ex or something like that. He okay. doesn't know that we can hear that. Your friends? Yes. Okay, no no relationship at all. No. Okay. She's here because she wants his breed machine. She wants her breathe machine. Oh god, this is already so good. We're like a minute into it. Oh hold on. Let me take this all in and we may have to start over. Oh, I can barely breathe. Oh, this is so good. Okay, so the cops just showed up to this the, the, the trap house. Chantal wants her breathing machine, okay? Um, the cops with the with the Quebecois accent asking her, like what asking him, what are you doing here? And he's saying, I'm cooking for the internet, I'm live on the internet. Uh, and then they asked about a relationship with Chantal, and he says, No, no relationship. Ah! <laughs> I'm starting this right over. This is too good. Put you out of camera. Fucking cops. Thank you. I'm here to you guys. So you are on YouTube, on Facebook. No, 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 no. Bambi, Bambi, the cops did not show up on her own. Chantal called the cops. This is the CPAP rescue. She wanted her freaking CPAP. He wouldn't give back the CPAP. He had been dicking her around all day about coming to get her stuff and shit. So she or one of the Beezers, actually, I can't really remember, but it was from her side, called the cops, and the cops knew that she wanted her breathing machine. It was amazing. Sorry? 
You are on Facebook, right? I was on YouTube. I was on the video. Okay, what are you cooking? He doesn't know he's still alive and that we can hear it. Uh, we are here because I hear we have an argument with your ex or something like that. He doesn't know that we can hear that. Girlfriend? Yes. Okay, no, no relationship at all. No. Okay, she's here because she wants his greet machine or something like that. She's she got one here. Yes. And she actually, I don't. She asked to come get it, and I don't tell her no, you cannot get it. But before she come get it, she go on my live stream and my videos and delete all of them. And this is not legal act. She did. Okay. They go on my YouTube and delete my stuff. Mm -hmm. This is not legal. Okay. Uh, I I think you can go to civil court for that. Okay, it's not criminal. And um, also, if you can check, I'm just here. Can check her name. Sure. We can ask her to all all her live stream here on my live stream. Yeah. All day, all year, seven months, talking shit about me, insulting me with her roommate, with everybody. I can leave. Tell her, shut up, what you need. Say me what you need. She keep talking and talking and talking and talking. Okay. For something happened and something lies, she don't even care. Okay. But to come to my. The cops don't care. Oh my God. I'm like reliving this like it was yesterday. I remember how crazy this was. Stupid. And Koki talking to the, the cops about like YouTube videos and 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 she and the cops are just like okay like sir we don't care where's the breathe machine we want to get the fuck out of here it's amazing YouTube and delete my stuff this is my work this is how I make money yeah um, so delete my videos that's not legal and I never tell her to delete my videos first of all that's how I make money sir relax what did she cost you 35 bucks to delete my videos is illegal act. Well, he's trying to like turn the cops on Chantal over some stupid fucking YouTube video. Oh my god. That's some real the the cop translating to the other cop. Yeah, something about a video. <laughs> the cops don't give a damn. Okay, cool. I never said you not allowed to take your stuff. I never did. You have to, you can watch your own live stream and you can sell. What I say, I want to say. But now, uh, this, I need to say. Yeah, yeah. And keep in mind, okay? <laughs> the cops show up there. They're showing up to a guy uh, who has stabbed two people and has a violent history. And this piece of shit is going to try and turn around and talk about some fucking YouTube video. They not only don't care, they're like, can you shut the fuck up and just get the fucking breathing machine? This is ridiculous. Look at my pause face. That's a face. <laughs> Oh, again, this person, this person, this okay. I, I'm just really here to have this breath machine and I'm go. Yes, but I need to... ah, You see, the cop is like, listen, I'm just, I just want to hear, do you have the breathing machine or no? They they don't give a damn about this fucking drama with your video. You know, all the guys, because this doesn't happen. It's really order, I guess. I don't want to For that, oh, she's not allowed to contact me anymore. Yes, but for that, you have to go to the bus. But can you tell me you're allowed to have, come even my yeah, yeah. I, I can say to her, you don't want her. I can answer here, yes. Okay. But for that, you have to go to the station, take a report about that. Okay. I don't okay. think, I don't think tonight we're going to come, come solve, solve all the problems here, okay? So I think you have something you want to do on Facebook yes. and YouTube. Yeah. So I think you want to do your cash now, yeah. right now. Oh, yeah. So you and can... she made me miss like five hundred dollars today. Yes. I want so, all day for so, nothing. So I'm just here to. Sir, sir, no, no. I didn't appreciate how funny that was in the past, but me right now appreciates just how ridiculous that was. Koki just claimed that Chantal costed him five hundred dollars on that day. Excuse me. I worked all day for nothing. Yeah, yeah, making his little fucking cooking videos. $500, as if he made $500 a day on YouTube. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's the funniest part of this, and I didn't even appreciate the humor in it last year. To make sure she's gonna go. So if I have to read machine, she's gonna go. Okay, so can you go take the read machine, bring me and... The breathe machine. <laughs> and I never tell her, and she's not gonna take it. This is the problem. I can't move it to you now. And I never tell her, you, you cannot take it. 
I really thank. But you go read my videos, my my stuff, and you come to bug me. Yes. I need my stuff now, but you delete know, your stuff. It's not fair. It's not even logical. He's such a big. Yeah, you know what's funny with that is that I kind of believe Koki. Like, I never told her she couldn't take her breathe machine. He just dicked her around on that day. This whole drama on this day was because he was she was jealous of Dee Dee. But she would leave that fucking CPAP there as, like, a reason to keep going back. You know what I mean? Uh, Jamie, where's my accent? I'm not French-Canadian. I don't have one. Fucking whining to the cops like they give a fuck. They already ran your fucking address. They're like, they don't have respect for you, ex-con. Okay. Okay, now they're talking to Didi in French and they're like, does he speak any French? Uh, and she's like, no. They're talk they're literally talking about the food. I will translate for you. Wow, he looks bien equipé. It means like the kitchen is full of shit. What are you making? They're talking about French fries. That's it. That's all. They uh they uh, they asked Didi, does he speak French? Uh, she's like, no. Dee Dee's trying to fucking like argue his case to the cops. The cops don't give a fuck. They're like, listen, we're just here for the fucking breathing machine, lady. Oh, uh, I okay, yeah, I see. No, I'm not French Canadian. I'm I'm Greek, half. Yeah, uh, but everybody pretty much who lives in Quebec, you have to speak French to function here. We, the, I went to school here. You go to school in French. Everybody works in French. Like life takes place here in French. So to function in society, if you live in Quebec, you have to speak French. We all do. I can't believe how fucking stupid this is that they don't know that we can hear all of this. Thank you. Do you have any piece of pudding with you? They're, run, they're gonna run his fucking name now. They asked for ID, uh, unless they're asking Didi for ID. If they're about to run his name, the tone is about to change drastically. We're having a whole side chat. Well, this is going. I would have thought you picked up the accent living there. Uh, no, because I'm like Anglophone, English speaking. I have the like Montreal Anglophone accent. The way I say things like men, like it's very Montreal. There's certain things I say very Montreal. It's it's uh it is confusing, I suppose, if you don't live here. But that's the answer. <laughs> Just to confuse you more, it's also specifically the west side of the city. That's my accent. It's not like St. Leo, bro. You know what I mean? Different. Thank you. So I'm gonna do a report about this situation tonight. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, fuck. The ads are playing. Okay, no fries left behind. We wait. I'm sorry. I didn't see that. Uh, The silence is so loud. Yeah, the silence is them running his ID. And now the cops are making a report about tonight. Nothing's gonna happen. They don't want to deal with him. <sighs> Nobody wants to deal with him. That's funny. Frenchie has a Brooklyn accent. <laughs> so many people say, ask me if I'm from like New York or New New Jersey. And I'm just like, no, that's NDG. That's just what like the Anglophones here sound like. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've, so many people have said that. Okay. The ads are over. All right. I'm going to say that you're super with you with us. Explain this mission that she's came here and love you in her. Oh, adventures. Mm -hmm. her name. Her, her name is Marie. That's her name is Chu. What are you doing in her life? Okay, about me. So I'm going to explain. This idiot! Idiot! He's like, her name is Chantal Marie. And if you go on YouTube, you'll see in her live, she's talking about me. Like, why are you saying that to the cops? You are such an embarrassment. And that, and uh, that's it for me. I hope she's not. My friend who's doing with me since two days now. She has verification time and she's been with me and she knows that this is crazy. Okay. Yeah. 
Bambi, she went back. She went back, and then they moved to Lachine, and then she started following them to Lachine. It wasn't over now. No, no, no. Sorry, I will use this report for what you're doing now to make a final order. I don't know how it works. Um, seriously, you have to go to the police station. Okay, thank you, police officer. What's going on? But in this report, explain what is in Tonight. Okay, mm -hmm. not, not on your whole okay. own life, okay? So oh, yeah. it's just tonight. Yeah. What's okay. happened tonight? Okay. Okay. And from you, you have to press charge, like for a restraining order. I don't need to press charge. I just need to don't be here. I yes. don't like, I like this. Yes, but, but if you can tell it, that's verbally, just yes. this. Do you know what I'm saying? Judge. He's begging them, please, please, only verbally. He wants the cops to go out and tell her, you're not allowed to come here anymore. And the cops are like, yeah, no, legally, that's not how that works. Uh, legally, if you need a restraining order, you have to go to the police station. You have to do the steps. Like, please, please, just verbally. Shut the fuck up. The cops don't work for you, you bitch. Give you a restraining order, okay? So we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna do the report tonight, but on your side, with the police station explain what? That's what that is. You have much problems. So I know she's sick. But, but just I don't have to be sure that somebody's sick. Stay calm, Koki. You're not going to cops, bro. Yeah, Things can flip that. quick. Okay, but I cannot just do something that I'm not going to do. Okay. 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 So thanks and uh, yeah. have a good night. Me too. The food. Thank you. What's up? You're used to tell Trump. My name? The new tell. Neither tell me my name. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Want to get up? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Let's see what they say now. Wow. Do you want me to say anything to me? Actually, they were nice. They were nice. I don't know, but they were nice. He's like, when you want to say, what is he cooking? It looks good. Da, 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 da. Uh, hey, Tommy, we heard everything. Uh, that's crazy. This is on mute. This is just nuts. <laughs> Guys, she got. Um, she don't ask for her. You can take your mask off, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> He thinks Sorry, he just. Un yeah, he can take the, the mask off, but he's gonna keep that clown mask on. Bloop. Muted. So, police came. They actually very respectful. <laughs> yeah. One minute, guys. Police came. They actually Y'all, we have had some doozy live streams together, okay? I think tonight. Cheers to everybody. This is our best fucking live stream of all time. <laughs> This time they muted. This time they muted. So we heard all the shit. But this little part we don't hear. Like we give a fuck. We got all the tea, dummy. They're still muted, by the way. It's not us that's uh, muted. Dee Dee, you dumb bitch. You're on mute. We talk. Did that bother you guys this morning? Gotta move, Gotta move this. Yeah, it's amazing, eh? When he 
gets frustrated or angry. Look how crazy he gets with the knife. I guess that's his pattern. Anyway, she got her broken machine. Look, he's distant. I got the, the guy with the knife. For, uh, the report I made. And uh, it's going to be restrained in order. So. Did you hear him just lie and say something about the report he just made and there's going to be a restraining order? He is such a fucking idiot. Oh, my God. What a night. You don't like to do your life by yourself. So you have no, to do no, that is not at all. Listen to this liar. Do you hear him? Because he doesn't realize that we heard everything the cops said. He's now lying and saying how there's going to be a restraining order when the cops specifically told him that, no, we can't give her conditions. You'd have to go to court. He is such a manipulative piece of shit. And we just heard it straight from the cops. What a dumbass. They're saying that it wasn't muted before. Wasn't it muted? That's what they said before. Okay, so you hear everything then. That's what they're saying. She doesn't believe well that's what they're saying. I was thinking of muted it, but it's okay. Now you know everything. And now you cannot talk about me. Look at him angrily chopping. Hold on just a sec, guys. She's telling him now that you doxed your phone number. I bet you. Look at his face. Look at him. What? What? That's what she just read in the chat. I bet you when she told him. Yep, that's what he just said. Oh my god, Zachary Michael is here. I'm gonna get all red like a tomato now. Hi, Zachary Michael. Thanks for being here for the greatest live stream I have ever done on my channel. Yes. He's rage singing right now. <laughs> And now the phone's going to start ringing off the hook. <laughs> ah! <laughs> The second CPAP rescue was so fucking good. Oh my God. I I'll never forget it. Fucking idiot. What a moron. He's so cocky. He's such a schmuck. He, you know, confidently presses the phone, puts us on mute, high out of his ass, lies to the cops, then comes back without realizing that we heard everything, tries to lie to the audience. Ah, uh, if that doesn't tell you what a little bitch this guy is, he, 
that yeah classic i agree i think that was the best live stream that we ever as a group watched on his channel ever it was amazing he was seething he was he was so mad when when Didi muted it and like told him like you doxed your own number everybody heard everything he was just livid and taking it out on that poor piece of meat oh one of the greatest moments ever in Shantopolis and definitely the highlight of last year's crack at Olympics in my mind. Mm. This was like, it was like the 24 hour build up to this happening too. all the VIP idiots in Chantal's chat trying to like egg her on, get her to go over there, get her to call the cops, get that CPAP back. They were the ones who were always like the CPAP, the CPAP, you got to go get the CPAP. It was always them, you know? And on this day she decided to listen to those morons and you know what that worked out best for all of us so <laughs> what a great day it was oh wait were there two C yes there were the first one wasn't as good as this one this was the peak of the CPAP rescue in my opinion because the jealousy about uh Dee, Dee being there she she was fucking seething the level of rage on this one was way worse than the first one and of course the fact that the cops were there we weren't on uh, mute the whole thing it was great and we had been live watching Chantal work herself up into coming over there so ping-ponging from her channel over to this was just what a fucking night oh my god Whew. all right and now most of the video the idiots are gone you're right love that for her mm. all the ones who like set up that the CPAP rescue and stuff they're all long gone Oh, was this an old life? Well, yeah, this was last Christmas. This is reliving of the crackhead Olympics. He's still at the at the trap house in that video. Oh, that was fantastic. All right. <laughs> By Travanda. Indeed. That's so funny. Listen, that was really fun. We're going to now watch one that's definitely nowhere near as fun. Chantal was live a little earlier today. They're going camping. She was live for like a really short live stream. We didn't see any camping. They're driving. This stream is boring. I'm giving you the heads up now. It's boring as fuck. There's only one thing asked by the chat and her little facial reaction. It's the, the whole interest of this entire stream, but at least it's short. So let me get the tab and we'll catch up in Shantopolis in real time, reluctantly. I hate this live stream so much. I know I have very little to say, but there's, there is very little to say. She called this camping. She teased last night that she would be going live to go camping. I kind of thought they went live, like as they arrived, you know what I mean? Like, okay, we're almost there. Let me fire up a live stream. She did this stream to eat a sandwich and drink a juice and say, fuck all and nothing else. There's, there's nothing going on. Oh, uh, oh my gosh, can't believe what happened last night. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> uh, okay, that's the whole line. Oh, and there's ads. You fucking timing, Twitch. Come on, man. Okay, okay, we're waiting. No fries left behind because this is the only sentence in the whole freaking stream that's worth a damn. I'm not kidding. We will watch it again. So... Someone in the chat, who is it there? Jesse says, can you explain what happened the last uh, the last day? And Chantal responds to that one, okay? But we're just going to wait because no fries left behind. These fucking ads are nuts. Okay, ads are over. All right, so all the fries who were on ads. So Jesse just asked in her chat, can you explain what happened the last day? And this is Chantal responding to that. Oh my gosh, I can't explain what happened the last day. What do you mean? What do you mean, she says. And you see? Do you notice that little smile she gives to the camera? Let's watch it again. Uh, oh my gosh, I can't explain what happened last day. What do you mean? Classic fucking Chantal move. Classic Chantal move. So here's what I decipher from that. I think that's in reference to something she said in Koki's chat the other night. 
She said something about um, Aisha knows what you did to me the, the day before I left for Kuwait or whatever, or what you did the day before I left for Kuwait. So I think that's, can you explain what happened the last day? I think that's what that's in reference to. And I think Salad didn't see her say that in Chantal's chat. Or wait, wait, what? In Koki's chat, I mean. And now she's playing dumb like, that doesn't exist. What do you mean? Smile for the camera. He has no idea what you're even saying. You're wasting your words. Let's watch it one more time. Um, oh my gosh, I can't believe what happened last day. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> uh, you're actually counting. Yeah. Ooh, you sneaky fucking bitch. Chantal, you are such a sneak. Such a goddamn liar, manipulator, gaslighter. Just, just all around complete human pile of shit. Okay. Your brand new husband already, it's such a lie. The whole thing is a scam. The whole thing is a fucking lie. You're playing around in Koki's chat, making an ass out of yourself, throwing out things like that. And then you're still going to be the just, just human crud pile that you are sitting there days after lying as you're chauffeured around Kuwait by this moron. Ah, I agree. Salad has no idea what really happened. And I don't think he saw her in the chat. So he doesn't even understand, like, what's that even in reference to? What do you mean? You know, he won't. I mean, he will once he gets his papers. But until then, he won't. Um, desert style camping. It's not like in North America, we have like, it's similar, but more comfortable. And it's like, like She's such a goddamn coward too. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is another thing. And another thing. She had said she was going to go live you know, on her community tab at a decent hour for kind of North America, Europe, whatever. She didn't. She waited until it was middle of the night so that there wouldn't be a lot of people in the chat so that people wouldn't be asking too many questions about what had gone on the other day. This was all tactic, right? Uh, she comes in, ignores them in the chat. What do you mean? She won't address a goddamn thing and has all her comments turned off again. She is such a freaking just sack of poo just coward for fuck's sake man just how it's just so it's also seating area on the ground on the like, carpet and then there's like these little chair like little things you just lay back on and then there's like a seating area outside um we're gonna be camping with like other people so like, friends and stuff um put a ball to kick around play some ball we i hope there's there's there should be some doom buggies i'm not like 100 percent sure but they're supposed to be doing buggies. So if there's doing buggies, we're definitely going to go for a ride. She's so unhappy right now. And that makes me happy. And I don't care how that sounds. She's a miserable biatch. She can rot for all I care. I love how unhappy she is. Newly wed with her stupid, hideous gold ring. And look at how miserable she is. If anybody knows Chantal, has been watching Chantal for years, we know happy Chantal. Hey, if anybody's been watching a week and just saw the fucking Toronto um, vlogs, we know what a happy Chantal looks like. Just look at the misery in this Biatch's face. She's not happy with the guy. She's in, a, in an exotic place on the other side of the world for the first time in her life. She's not even like happy about being there. She is just so full of shit, desperate to get back close to Koki and to all her vices and stuff. Misery. Oh, Gucci game of girl. I completely agree with you. I have a gut feeling if she comes back uh, alone, she will be fucking Koki again. I agree. I agree. Even though Koki has blown her off now since what, the end of July or some shit? Apparently, apparently, 
Cokie is such a bitch that just because she's apparently married now, he would hit. I stand by that. I totally do. He just doesn't that scream everything we know about Koki to you and just the slime ball that he is. This is so peak a Koki move. It's going to happen. Hell yeah, baby. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen. Picture it. Sicily 2022. Lachine 2022. He would 100% hit it. 100%. He would also then get his fistful of cash, you know, the going rate for every time he's done it before. So Koki is leaving with the satisfaction that this bitch would cheat on anyone and do anything with him. He gets paid. And then as soon as she leaves, he'll turn around and blast the whole goddamn thing to the internet. And she's so stupid. She would come back again the next night. Love that for her. Wait, 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 wait. So now we need Koki to pull a Didi. We need him to run Didi interference on this. Is that it? We need Koki now to like it the most. <sighs> wow. This thing is a fucking telenovela at this point. Imagine. Then you'll have the husband mad on the other side of the world because she's probably already had half of the money for this sham marriage. And now she's putting the sham marriage into jeopardy and everything's on the line for the other the guy on the other side of the world. He's in no position in the other side of the world to control anything going on here. You got Koki doing all the drugs, just getting fucking crazy over in Lachine, plotting how he's going to wreck this bitch. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, deal, smell. You know what? 90 Day Fiance never had a Koki and Didi crackhead uh, like branch going on. Ooh, when Didi said the other night on this on the edit we were watching, like, oh, why don't you come straight here after the airport? You know, I'm only 10 minutes away. I fucking died a little inside. And I was like, you know, she's gonna have that as the as the taxi's leaving the airport, like. What address do I say? Okay, okay. Uh, um, hi, can you drive me to Orleans? You know what I mean? And as they're passing Lachine, she fucking grabs the steering wheel <laughs> and forces the cab to take the exit. Oh my God, she's crazy enough. They're all fucking crazy enough. Yeah, then you got D. Wait, 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 wait. Then you got Chantal and Koki hitting the fucking purple mattress only so that Koki can prove this point about married Chantal don't mean shit to me. And then you got Dee Dee fucking sipping her wine in the living room with her classic, what about my feelings, Natter? Ah! Oh my God, Christmas is coming. Are we going right back into last year's crackhead Olympics? Are we just picking up where we left off? But now there's a hijab and a husband? I'm so confused, but I'm fucking down. Whatever happens. Come on, Koki and Didi. Make it happen. Yeah, that was just, I mean, a stream for nothing. Oh, the ads are playing perfect timing. It's over. Okay, that really worked out. That stream was absolutely for nothing. That's why I gave the fair warning before we even started watching that one, that this is a super, super boring one. There's only one sentence in that entire stream that means anything to me. And it was absolutely the person asking about what happened on the last day. And her, like, oh, what are you talking about? And that face. Salad has no idea. Uh, he obviously hasn't seen it in her chat. Didn't hear anything about that. And she's not talking about what happened on that last day. I have an idea what may have la happened on that last day. This is all my al allegedly conspiracy whatever, okay? We know, based on history with Koki, that it was all a transaction between them as well. But it was like a hustle on Koki's end. Whereas I feel with Salad, this is a, you know, agreed upon arrangement. It's completely different in my mind. That's why I won't call him a scam artist as opposed to Koki. Now, Koki, yes, living with Dee Dee, but very volatile. And from what we've heard on those videos, mm, yeah, we'll stick with volatile, okay, between them. At any moment, Didi could smarten the fuck up and get his dumb ass kicked the fuck out. Then what? Then what does he do? 
a lot of real narcissistic, abusive people keep backup plans. Backup bitches. I don't know what you want to call that, okay? But sort of like, like, like idiots, hangers oners, who even if they're not together, they could call in a pinch. Chantal would have been his idiot. And I'm sure in a pinch, Chantal would have absolutely been there to help his ass out. Her running off to get married at the last second, he may have pulled a stunt trying to talk her out of it, thinking, oh crap, I'm about to lose my like plan B. And if shit hits the fan with Dee Dee, if she's really married like that, she won't necessarily be there to get me out of whatever my situation is with Dee Dee. And I think it's a very cokey thing to do, a very manipulative, garbage human thing to do to pull a stunt like that. He apparently tried to pull a stunt and get her to not go to Cuba. He pulled a stunt and tried to get her to not go to Windsor. And that was, again, just about controlling the, the money, right? It's not anything deeper than that. He hates her guts, but he likes the money and how easy it is to get that money from her. So I would not put it past him to have pulled something like that right before she left uh, to, to marry this guy. And I think, honestly, that is what happened on that last day. It was his like last ditch attempt, you know, Lisa Bear, FFG, could you explain the Aisha thing? No, I have no, how is Aisha involved? And can I explain? I have no idea. I don't know what the hell is the Aisha thing. If there even is an Aisha thing for all I know, Chantal, you know, suddenly poof wants to uh, marry this guy and play dress up with a hijab and found uh, like a hijab wearing Muslim girl in the orbit and suddenly that person became number one we don't know we do, really don't know is she involved in any of this is this all just a coincidence not a, i don't believe in coincidences but but something like that like aisha's nothing to do with salad and the end just happens to be the hijab wearing muslim woman in the story i don't freaking know but uh, like there's no there's no way to explain it you know what i mean i i have no freaking idea um, apparently she might've told Aisha what happened. Yeah. That again, was that the real account? I think it was the real account based on her reaction today. When somebody brought it up in the chat, I think it was Chantal. Did she tell Aisha what happened based on what she said in the chat? Yeah. But like, we don't know. She, she didn't give us any more details than that. Chantal always has like a little bestie out of the VI idiots, right? Um, what was her name? Marissa was one, you know, like they had each other's phone number and stuff. They used to talk on the phone and like on WhatsApp and stuff. It was Marissa. There was another one after. I think she does it now with Missy Moo and probably Aisha too. They're, they're probably talking somewhere else. She has no friends. So she picks these people out of her chat to be like, like her friends, right? Maybe Aisha, I mean, Aisha was her friend at the time. We know she's gotten real close with that Aisha. And when something happened with Koki, she wanted someone to talk to. And she told the whole story to Aisha. Yeah, Sandy and Ange, those were two more. You're right. Aisha, look what happened to the Trinity. Just saying, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She would like chuck Aisha aside like she chucked everyone else aside, right? There's no loyalty from Chantal. She doesn't give a damn. Well, her IG DMs are open again. So who knows? Oh, boy. Uh, oh, wow. Lambo actually said on an Insta post that she doesn't follow Chantal that much anymore. I mean, she can say that all she wants, but we see her even in Pete's chat and stuff. Okay, so you're not following directly. You're following indirectly. You're I don't know. No judgment. Listen, we sit here and follow. We we all follow indirectly in a way. But I'm saying we don't try and boast that like, no, we're not even following anymore. And we're just like, you know, in Pete's chat, asking questions about Chantal, making comments about Chantal. Your butt hurt, Lambo. Admit it. You thought you had a special little place in that lunatic's heart. And it turns out she would dump your dumb ass just like she would dump all their other dumb asses for a little dick. Lambo, if you had a penis and were willing to stick it in her or, you know, needed a citizenship and also had a, a penis, things would have been very different for you. But she hates all women. You, you know what I mean? Because all this is crazy. Yes, Bambi, it is. It's the one consistent thing in our little community, isn't it? The fucking insanity. Ah, 
friends of convenience. Well said. Friends of convenience. Oy, oy, oy. FFG, have you seen our IG post of them camping? Oh, God, no, I have not. I'm waiting for the stream or the video. You know what? I should check on the channel, too. I don't have any notifications turned on. Let's see. Salad and Chantel. Hmm. I see nothing yet. She said she wasn't sure what she was going to do. Uh, like, the, she knew she were that, 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 bleh. What is wrong with me? My brain is on weekend. I'm so sorry. She said that they would be doing videos for sure and that they may do a live stream later. So I'm going to have my wits about me keeping an eye on all the, the notifications. Okay. It's extremely early in the day. It's only 1 30 PM. We've already done at 1 30 PM my time. We've already done two reacts today. If this biatch comes back at a decent hour, we will go live on the YouTube and we'll watch it together. All right. Now, before we end this stream, uh, there's a community tab post that I don't even understand why I only saw for the first time this morning. Pfft. It's from two days ago. Somehow she posted it up and deleted it so fast that I did not see it until this morning. So let's just go over it because it's as crazy as she is, as always. And it's directed at your girlfriend, Chi. Uh, I had titled a video, an edit the other day. Oh, whoops, wrong one. What? How do you go back? Oh, I hate this stupid. There, okay. Seething. I wrote seething on the screen. And here we go. Lunatic. Seething. Oh, bright one. You are the one seething with jealousy. It's very obvious in your projection. Calling me chins. Again, still don't do that, girl. Making fun of every aspect of my life. Yeah, I absolutely do do that, though. You are the one who has to use my content to get any views. That would make me feel like quite the nobody if I were you. Okay, like who cares? Do you think you're somebody? Like, girl, absolute nobody. You're an absolute nobody. Who gives a shit? This is the tiniest little nook community in the world. And I'm a reaction channel. Yes, I use your fucking content. And no, I don't think I'm a somebody, you lunatic. You get more view, uh, views than you have subscribers, and already more people are sick of your repetitive petty crapola, which proves people don't sub to your channel for you. They tune in when you are talking about me. No, Chantal, let me explain YouTube to you. Where she just said, you get more views than you have subscribers. Number one, jealous, because you have just under 100,000 subs and you can barely break 15,000 views. That shit does not add up. But let me explain something to you, Chantal. If we do a, li a live stream for one hour, let's say, it will always get less views than if we sometimes do these marathon live streams that go on for like three hours, four hours. Do you know why? Because most people don't just sit and watch it in one, in like, like one shot straight. It's too long. So a lot of times people watch a bit, do something else. Maybe they come back and watch it later. Well, you know what that just did? It means they clicked the video twice and it turned into two views. So you will always notice on my channel and most other reaction channels and Chantal's channels that the longer the stream or video, the more you'll have the views on it. But it's not like that. It's, it's the person's watching it through one time. Now you've been doing YouTube this song and it took me who's only been like monetized on YouTube for a year. How come I've already figured that out and you're playing so dumb? <laughs> Love that for you, girl. It must bother you that without being a hateful hypocrite, no one will gather to watch you. <laughs> Reality is that the only reason you have such a big community is that you give people a place to circle jerk for free over their mutual hate for me. Yeah, well said. If you want to reduce it to that, you're right, Chantal. This is a free circle jerk where people can speak freely. They don't have to pay $5 a month to participate in a chat. Oh, I'm talking like we're on YouTube. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, and they don't have to fear getting blocked because I don't know. They don't like my boyfriend. So, you know what I mean? Something stupid like that. Um, your audience calls me chins. 
No, you fucking idiot. For the last time, that's Kiwi Farms that calls you chins. LMAO, I barely have one anymore. Girl, just because you shove all your shit into that fucking hijab does not mean you don't have a chin anymore. Are you nuts? Don't answer that. The answer is fuck yeah, she is. I barely have a chin anymore. Maybe they should start calling you that because karma has given you one. What? So people are fat now because of karma? Chantal, you're like 400 pounds and can't wipe your own ass. If people make, or if uh, people are fat because of karma, what does that say about your fucking karma? Just saying. Um, karma has given you one and it looks, uh, given you one it looks like now. Also, balding. Some more karma. Balding. I always laugh when people in this community because she's not the only one. <laughs> And it's always the bitches who either have no hair or spend an hour fucking pressing their ugly shit to come on live and talk about other people's looks, calling me bald. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I'm going gray. There's a big difference between gray and bald. Okay. Every time they put up that, because she puts up that same screenshot where you see the side of my head and it's like, bald? No. Gray? abso fucking -lutely. Every time I see that, I go and color my hair. So now I've seen this fucking community tab post last night. You know what I went and did last night? I dyed my hair. I'm like, bald where? And I just look in the mirror and I, I have hair for two people. You people are nuts. And you people, I mean the bitch in this community who runs her ugly fucking face calling other people ugly and Chantal specifically. You two are so similar. It's whack to me. Bald, you know what? You could say a lot of things about me, but to call a person who has all of this bald, you're morons. You're two fucking morons. And it's, it is what it is. I, I started going gray when I'm 18. I'm, I don't know. I, I do get like, oh my God, I want to color my hair, but that's for me. I don't have a complex about gray because I've like always been gray. Fuck all the way off. Me and my two heads of hair are gray. A blue bloop. It would be great for either one of you if all you had to do was slap a little hair dye on your hair to get your shit popping again. <laughs> Too bad you can't relate, bitches. Where were we in this now? <laughs> uh, actually, you always look like this, thus the projection part. Oh yeah, she, she knows how I look. There, there. Oh, this is the one where they keep calling me bald. Bitch, it's gray. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Completely fucking gray. <laughs> okay, where was I? <clears throat> um, heck, all reaction channels all resemble the mutants from Table 9 from The Wedding Singer and have the nerd nerve to keep projecting for views. Anyway, it's clear you will soon be the new lol cow, so enjoy. No, girl, trust. As long as you're on the internet, it'll always be you. You are so jealous because no one will touch you. <laughs> okay, girl. Girl, your husband won't touch you. Is that you projecting? Girl, I'm not married. Still get touched. I don't offer citizenships. Still get touched. Girl, you're on the other side of the world doing the absolute fucking most, flashing a wedding ring around, and you still can't get it. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh, you smelled like an ashtray and cheap laundry detergent as if you got lost at a sketchy laundromat in downtown Montreal, probably looking for Nad turd since you have been obsessed with him from the beginning. Okay. What is this? Are you so clearly still in love with him? But like, why did you throw that in again? <laughs> What does your obsession with Koki have to do with me? Calm the fuck down, Chantal. Now back to eating noodles in my poor house with no bathroom. 
idiots. Oh, and yes, I'm a changed woman. <laughs> to a point. Calling out others on their BS when they have been doing to me for years is warranted. I've only had a reaction channel for a year, but whatever. I think also I will start reacting to your crappy little videos about me. Bitch, I've been begging you to do that since you've been saying this for what, six months now? Do your absolute worst. You can't. That's the problem. You can't burn anyone for shit. I could give you a lighter and matches in your hand. You still can't burn anybody. But absolutely, marhaba, do your worst. Please try it. Because then I'm going to react to you trying to burn me. And you know, girl, you'll, you'll be a, a fucking crispy cinder when I'm done with you. <laughs> okay. Where is it now? Blah, blah, blah. See what all the hype is about. Hey, if you can't beat them, join them. You got to be able to keep up with them, bitch. You know, still rather not, LOL. I like how she talked herself out of it in a sentence there. Anyways, back to living my life instead of picking others apart. Yella, what does that mean, back to living your life? Did you go back into Koki's chat? Or was he not live? So you just sat there sobbing to yourself, imagining him and Didi fucking... <laughs> Yalla, marhaba, live your best life, bestie. <laughs> Love that for all of us. Anyway, I just saw that this morning, and you know, I wasn't letting a doozy like that one pass me by and have nothing to say with it. That 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 would just not be who I am. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't see that. She she put that up and deleted it quick, quick. Because how the fuck did I not see that for a whole ass day? I don't know. But the point is. It's now been seen. <laughs> Everybody, thank you so much for being here, for our retro react, for catching up in real time, for all oh, the fucking ads. What? The timing. Okay, you know what? <sighs> thank you guys so much for being here. <laughs> for the retro react, for the real time react, for allowing me to go back to a two day old community tab and rage on it. I love that for all of us. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Guys.